Hello, my wonderful Aquarians. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay, so we have the message, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised uh, where it leads. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So what I see here, guys, um, is for some of you, you're inquiring about a situation where you either feel like you want to gain some sense of control, and that could have a lot to do with either feeling confused or feeling like there's a lot in the unknown, okay? Or there is just like a situation that you have been feeling very, very concerned about. You're like, you know, where is this headed? Um, you know, you may have questions about a specific person, but it's about releasing control. So, you know, wanting to be in control because maybe it makes you feel less confused or it makes you feel better. But there's something about, you know, going with the flow. That's pretty much what the message is letting me know here. Um, and then it also says... Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life. So there could be some sort of a change that has taken place in this dynamic as well. And maybe it's really hard to accept or you're wanting, you know, to understand why things maybe happened the way that they did. <clears throat> but I do see that this is impacting you on a mental level this week. Okay, you could be feeling very, uh, you know, stressed out. But the main thing that I'm getting here is, you know, letting go of some sort of control. Okay, so we have the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck and we have the Two of Wands. This is a very specific message, guys. Three of Cups and Two of Wands is, you know, giving me an energy of either you waiting on someone to make a decision. Okay, hear me out. So if you weren't waiting on someone to make a decision, you feel like you have been involved in a situation where, um, you know, you don't have someone's an undivided attention. Okay, so it doesn't mean that they're, you know, choosing between you and another lover, but it could be that you feel like they're not deciding if they are, you know, ready for a commitment here. Because the Two of wands <clears throat> it speaks a lot about like a waiting game when you're waiting for a sign you're you know waiting for something to happen so some of you could be growing impatient with the situation kind of like what's going to happen <clears throat> you could be dealing with the water sign cancer pisces scorpio or a fire sign aries leo sagittarius so i'm going to start off by seeing how this person is viewing you this week Okay, Page of Swords. They're definitely keeping an eye on you, okay? Even if it's someone that you're connecting with, there could be something that they're trying to figure out on their own, right? So if you guys are conversing, they could have a couple of questions for you, but instead of directly asking you, they're trying to figure this out on their own, whether it's, you know, um, keeping tabs on you via social media, maybe it's asking a mutual friend, maybe it's watching a tarot reading, not the most direct energy, but I do see them, you know, being very curious about you. Now, something else that's coming through very strongly here, guys, is like this person is viewing you as someone who was, who was able to figure something out without their help. So, you know, there could be some sort of clarity that you've gained in this situation. Um, for others of you, it could be that you felt this person was indecisive or you knew that they were being indecisive because there was another energy in the picture. But there could be something that you figured out on your own without this person communicating it to you. So on the flip side, they could be viewing you as someone who's able to, you know, attain information on your own without the help of them. Okay. <clears throat> so we have the Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords in the challenge position. This is someone who is really thinking about you, okay? Like they're stuck on you mentally. We have a lot of swords energy so far. 
um, but they're keeping a lot of this energy bottled up, whether it's anger, frustration, you know, we have hurt here with the Three of Swords. Now, the Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords, um, you know, in the challenge position kind of tells me all I need to know. This is someone who definitely feels defeated by an ending, okay, more specifically a betrayal. And the Three of Swords is like, this person, every time they think of you or they think about the situation, there's a very uneasy feeling. It's someone who is reminded of the betrayal. They're reminded of, you know, a very hurtful ending, right? And it's just a very, very uneasy feeling. They may feel like there's unfinished business. There's There could be a specific, you know, situation that occurred between the both of you that they're revisiting, but there's a lot of hurt here. And with the Ten of Swords, a part of them feels like they need to let go or move on. Um, but with the Three of Swords, again, they're reminded of the hurt. So when they try to move on, it's like, you know, a situation comes to mind or there's something here that they're having a hard time, like completely moving on from, completely releasing from their energy. Because when they think about it, it still causes hurt. <clears throat> How you're viewing them, Queen of Swords. You may view this person as a bit detached. You may feel like you're not really, um, you know, receiving much communication from them. Or if you are, you can tell that there, uh, there are some sort of like barriers between the both of you. Um, but I also see it as like you're viewing them as someone that you're very upset with. Like you're a part of you wants to be optimistic, but a part of you wants to be cautious, right? Um, that's what the Queen of Swords is about. So you're accepting the truth about this person and you feel like you're frustrated with them, but you're also wanting to have some sort of clarity or maybe even a conversation where you're able to kind of tell this person how you feel. We, we have a lot of swords energy. So what I see so far is someone who's just really mentally impacted by what's going on. Um, but they're trying to remain logical about the situation. So even though they feel a level of hurt, it's almost like the heartbreak has, uh, you know, turned into something that's more so like the emotional pain has turned into something that's more of like a, a mental pain or something that's like stressing them out mentally. So they're trying to make sense of what has happened between the both of you this week. <clears throat> Knight of Swords, okay, in your feelings, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like there's definitely something you want to tell this, tell this person with the Knight of Swords, okay? Ace of Pentacles is an energy of wanting a new beginning, but I think that this is more specifically wanting more stability, okay? So you may be wanting to communicate with this person, but, you know, it doesn't mean you're giving them an ultimatum, but you could be letting them know, okay, well, I want something stable or I'm ready to, you know, commit. I'm not going to be involved in a situation that's fickle. The Tower, some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio and the Knight of Cups. You guys could be receiving like an unexpected apology from this person or there's something like it's almost like you get a little bit of this person's vulnerable side or they tell you something uh, from their heart space and it's very unexpected for you is what I see. <clears throat> so whether this is someone who has been very closed off emotionally in the past and now they're opening up and they just, you know, out of the blue tell you something about how they feel, um, whether it's how they feel for the past between the both of you or what they want in the future moving forward, it's very unexpected is what I'm getting here. So you may not be used to this person opening up emotionally or you just don't expect that this week. And so I see some sort of a confession that's very unexpected, definitely, you know, stemming from the hard space. And it's interesting because as much as this person is, you know, confessing something to you or you feel that they're finally opening up to you emotionally, Knight of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles is you kind of feeling like, you know, I want this to feel more stable. So it's not to say that you're, you know, disregarding what this person's saying, but I think that you have your mind made up when it comes to wanting a situation to be stable. And if it's not stable, you're moving forward. And Knight of Swords could be a little bit of an impatient energy. And I did pick up on this when I was opening your spread um, with the Two of Wands, you know, the waiting game. You may become or you may feel this week that you're becoming very impatient when it comes to this waiting game. You're like, you know, what am I waiting for? Or is anything going to come out of this situation? So there's a level of urgency that you feel in your feelings as well. Okay, Eight of Pentacles, clarifying the Three of Swords, and the Hanged Man, Ten of Swords. Seems to me that this has been uh, this has been a relationship that may, possibly has been in kind of like a 
pause for a while here with the hanged man. And again, I did say that this person feels stuck on this ending in particular. So the hanged man is clarifying the Ten of Swords, which is someone who can't think about why, or they can't stop thinking about why things have ended. They feel, you know, a sense of betrayal, right? And it's in the mutual energy. So again, it's I'm not here to play the blame game, but it could be that they are reminded of the hurt that they caused, but they could feel equally as hurt in the situation as well. Um, because we do have the Three of Swords in his back there, and then we have the Three of Swords, you know, uh, the cards. So I do feel like this person's feeling very defeated. And with the Hanged Man, it's like feeling very stuck. You know, the Hanged Man is a very analytical energy. You're thinking about something, but it's not the most action-oriented. And with the Eight of Pentacles clarifying the Three of Swords, they definitely want to do something to solve, you know, um, this emotion that they are feeling or the fact that when they think of you or the situation it makes them feel uneasy they want to overcome that there is something about things happening very quickly between the both of you as well so it could be that you met this person and you felt like you guys hit it off and you guys were connecting but then as you you may feel like the connection was moving very quickly or it started very quickly, but you could feel like it ended just as quickly. There's something about the pace of this bond that's coming through very strongly. You could be dealing with the Pisces. This person may be using work as a distraction. Like they may be, you know, um, picking up extra hours or they're trying to, you know, um, not focus on their pain and focus on something that literally requires them to pay attention to what they're doing so that they don't feel consumed by this situation is what I'm seeing here. <clears throat> okay, so in their feelings, we have the three of pentacles. So I do believe this person wants to have a conversation. Seven of pentacles. Three of pentacles and seven of pentacles is an energy of how can I make this work? Because the three of pentacles is like, you know, a discussion or working together. Seven of pentacles is, you know, when you are observing or analyzing a situation and you're starting to realize where there's a need for improvement. You're starting to realize maybe what does work and what you need to continue doing more of. But also the things that are not working are being highlighted for your person this week. So in their feelings, essentially what I'm seeing is someone who's like, how do I work this out? How do we see eye to eye or at least... <clears throat> get on the same page here we have the eight of swords in their feelings and the sun card you could be dealing with the leo i do believe this person is wanting like a positive uh shift but as this person feels stuck on you mentally there's a lot that's being illuminated to them this person may be receiving a download or they're receiving an idea about like a new approach so a new way to go about this connection or they're starting to gain clarity on how to actually connect with you or see eye to eye with you it's like they have been stuck or feeling restricted because of their situation because mentally they may have been thinking the same thoughts or they have been thinking about solving this um, issue between the both of you in the same way does that make sense so they're seeing like a new way of doing things a new way of, you know, finding a solution with you. If there are restrictions in their current environment, they're finding a new way to actually release those restrictions or feel less, restric less restricted to the point where they can go after what they desire. It's almost like a weight being lifted off of your person's shoulder here this week is what I see. So we have the temperance. Some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius followed by the fool card and the potential outcome. Yeah, there's definitely a weight being lifted off of your person's shoulder, which is why we have these two cards in the potential outcome. Temperance and the fool card is someone feeling that they are ready to take that leap of faith towards you, or it is what I'm more specifically getting guys is like, it's a shift in perspective, especially with the hanged man and the sun card. It's like, okay, this hasn't been working. And Believe me, with the Seven of uh, Pentacles as well as the Three of Pentacles and Eight of Swords, they have been thinking the same thoughts for a, for a while here, to say the least. But this week, it's like, I don't want to say like a new idea, but they're seeing things in a new way. They're like, okay, maybe this could actually help me get out of this situation or this could help me feel less, you know, restricted here. And so with the Temperance and the Fool card, they're feeling more confident in the potential outcome for the both of you to come together. The Fool card is about taking a leap of faith towards you, but the Temperance has a lot to do with um, restoring balance, you know, bringing some sort of harmony into a connection. 
right? And in your case, it also has a lot to do with turning the negative into something positive, alchemy, right? That's what temperance speaks about. It's just they feel more ready to execute something with you because they're seeing how they how they can um, how they can approach it differently. So in the past, this person may have had kind of like that two of swords energy, very this or that thinking, right? I, I can either go about it this way or that way, but this is the only thing that, or this is the only way I have been going about things in the past and it has not worked. So I feel stuck. What do I do? But this week, they feel like they actually have a solution. The temperance is being clarified by the page of pentacles, the fool card, the lover. So I see this person coming forward and offering you something with the page of um, pentacles. This could even be an incoming message, okay, where they want to make peace with you. We have the lovers here, so some of you could be um, dealing dealing with a Gemini, but the lovers speaks about, you know, like an offer coming in or you and this person connecting, but there's a decision on the table. So the lovers does boil down to choices, but, it, you know, if we're really going to dissect it, there's a little bit of emotional confusion associated with that card. Why? Because it's a very large decision. So once you make this decision, you know, there's no turning around and it's also going to affect you and other areas of your life. So when this person connects with you and the outcome here, there's going to be a decision on the table, kind of like, are we going to work through this? Are we going to be able to, you know, um, overlook what we have gone through? And it's going to be a commitment that the both of you would have to agree on and, and say, okay, yes, we've, you know, gone through A, B, and C, but we're willing to work through it. It can't be, you know, one-sided here. So I do see a discussion and I see this person feeling more confident in pursuing a connection with you because they're seeing things from a different perspective, okay? So that is what I'm getting for you guys. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.